My name is Terry Lester. I'm the son of Alban Lester and uh, Joyce Lester. When my parents met and married, they lived at uh, number 29 Strawberry Lane, and that was where I was born. That's where my sister and my younger brother Jeremy were also born. So I was born here and uh, moved in 1965. So the property ended down at the river, but we often also use the other bank of the river to grow things, although you did so at your own risk, because particularly in winter, you didn't know how much water was going to come down. You could have your half of your garden washed away. And so my grandmother uh, and dad grew cut flowers, and that was from seedlings. They would sow them out in rows, and I remember with two sticks and string between the two in order to get straight lines. And my grandmother fattened pigs, and of course we had chickens, so manure was never an issue. There was always a good supply of manure, and we all grew up with um, pretty well-functioning compost heaps. Well, the project se seeks to record the stories of people, to provide a platform and a space where those stories can be told, where they can have some form of curation where people are able to arrive and listen and hear and experience, but to also give to our young people hope to show that there were communities long before they arrived who were self-sustaining, who looked after their families through the provision of what they could uh, harvest from the soil and grow from the earth. There's an entire generation and more from whom we won't hear any stories because they're no longer with us. I know so little about my own history and background that I felt that for my own sake I needed to and so that my children can also know about where we come from, where we lived, what our families were able to accumulate and then lose under apartheid. And also for us not to grow up in a part of the city to which we were relegated and feel that we're not part of the whole city. South Africa is a very different place to what it was in 1965 when our family was moved. We are now one city, one people, one nation. I think that it is very, very important that part of taking ourselves back into ourselves uh, to find out who we are, it is from that place um, a more authentic space from which to embrace the new, I think.